Why do you want to be a leader? What does their future really look like? And why is this important? Welcome to the new now. Every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. COVID reminded us all just how deeply some of our greatest challenges are shared. It was the women standing in front. So we're here, we're thinking, we're planning, we're working, and we will get through this. We are not only guests on planet Earth, we are guests of planet Earth. No city or country is immune to the devastating consequences of the climate crisis. What will the role of cities be post COVID-19? And what does it take to make cities more livable, more breathable, more resilient? Our lives will be completely transformed, even more so than the new normal of today, with digital economy, artificial intelligence, and virtual reality. How many of the most profound advancements and inventions in society and history were possible because people had the opportunity to question what was possible? How many peace processes last five years or more? Who are you giving the gun to? What kind of person are you empowering? How do we control this growing hate and divide in the communities? And the question is in all of this, where do we have an entry point into making some structural changes? What can we actually do to develop a more humane future of work? What are the skills of the future? Whom do we mean when we use the word we? How does an African woman or girl navigate this world. The million dollar question is... How do we make that happen? Let's be absolutely clear for everyone who's listening now and in the future. We're going to keep building this better home for all of us human beings. I think the solutions, many, many of the solutions are already out there. We just have to think across the borders of our known environments.